What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to stream to both YouTube and Facebook at the same time using OBS for free. Let's do it. All right, so essentially you probably have heard of Restream.io. I want to talk about the difference between the free way I'm going to show you to live stream to YouTube and Facebook and Restream.io, which has a monthly fee. Now, Restream.io is pretty awesome, I have to say. And there's other services that do Restreaming as well. They allow you to stream to them, and then they stream to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, all kinds of platforms. And Restream even has a plugin for OBS that brings all the chat rooms together so the, if you're if you like that there's a couple benefits one is it reduces the bandwidth that you have to send the way i'm going to show you is totally free using two obs laptops to live stream to youtube and facebook at the same time but you can pay restream and then you only have to send one stream to the cloud and you can stream the rest uh, from their servers which has some benefits especially if you have low amounts of bandwidth but let me show you the free way because it's going to use the new tech NDI plugin for OBS. And NDI plugin is something that you should know how to use. If, if you're using OBS, it's going to open up so many doors. So regardless, you should learn how to use it. It starts by getting the OBS plugin. So go just, all you have to do is go Google OBS uh, NDI plugin. It pops right up. And then essentially you just go to the downloads page of that. They're, they have an installer for Windows. You can get it for Mac. They have it for Linux. So everybody can get in on this. It's an awesome tool for you know, connecting multiple OBS systems together. You can use it to bring in your phone as a, as a webcam into OBS. There's so much you can do with the NDI plugin. But get that installed, and then we can start using it. So first of all, what, what happens? There's two things. You can do NDI input and NDI output. So I just went to Tools, NDI Output Settings, so that we can take a peek at what we can do here. So from an output perspective, everything in your OBS production can be output to another computer. And that is what we are going to do today. I am going to connect this computer with OBS on it to that laptop over there with OBS on it. This computer is going to stream to Facebook. This computer is going to stream to YouTube. That's a great way, especially if you have like two moderate or not even that great PC computers with not that new of graphics cards or processors, we can split up the processing tasks and uh, do two really great streams. It just requires twice the amount of bandwidth than the restream option, but still a really good option. So the first thing you're going to do is click the checkbox to enable your NDI output and go ahead and give it a name that you can remember. Once you've done that, you can then bring in the OBS source of your computer. Now I've already set up my laptop computer to do the same thing. So I'll walk over there in a minute, but right now let's just go ahead to the plus button and add an NDI source. So we looked at NDI outputs. Let's look at NDI inputs. So we click NDI source. I'm going to call this the laptop NDI output. Click OK. And then essentially this box comes up with everything you need to know about uh, the source. And I'm going to go ahead and search for the source name here. And right here, laptop OBS output. That's what we want. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that is the output of my computer over here. Now let's go ahead and connect that computer as well, just so you can see what's going on. So now I'm walking over to this computer here where I have, again, this is my OBS output. Anything I was, were to change over here will change over there as well because they are now connected. So on this computer, I'll just go ahead and I will create a, a new, here it is, a new scene. And we'll call this NDI output of PC. Click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus button on this computer and I am going to hit NDI source. We'll call PC NDI output. Click OK. 
and just doing the exact same thing here going over to now i have my studio pc over here and this is the output that we have now i'm going to go back to my other computer because i'm not sure what the obs output is there uh looks like it's a black screen so as soon as i change that over here it will change over there so pretty cool stuff i hope that makes sense now that that has been done when we go to settings and we go to our stream and let's say we choose twitch or youtube or facebook essentially as many computers as we need to do as many streams as we want um let's just look at the diagram one more time so i can show you guys what we just did and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another computer it's literally that easy you can add more computers to your local area network and then add more streams so this could be our twitch stream for example so hopefully again that makes sense uh we can spend more time on this uh let me see if i can just try to think about some of the things that might come up here so you can only have one stream per obs application that's true but you can connect multiple obs systems together as we showed with the output and the input and then you can stream those to from each other so really good stuff um it's a great way to have multiple streams the other thing to think about if you want to get creative with this is now like let's say here's another example of something that i've, I've seen people do if you're a church what if you want to do a uh, spanish stream and an english stream or maybe you want to have one stream with an interpreter or a sign language person in a lower third now you can take the same exact output of one video production system bring it into another and change it a little bit change the language change the microphone input source change uh the picture in picture box that has a sign language interpreter it's a horrible uh i don't know sign language so please uh you know be nice to me in the comments but essentially uh that's how you would do it it's a very straightforward easy way to set up obs again just to take a final peek at this together uh once you install the ndi plugin ndi output settings is where you want to just hit that checkbox then literally any computer on your network that has obs and the ndi plugin installed can then hit the plus button and open up that ndi source option there and boom every single ndi source on your network you can see i have tons of them are made available to the next computer and that is how you can live stream to youtube and facebook at the same time for free without having to pay for restream.io a lot of this is outlined in my book the unofficial guide to open broadcaster software you can download for free so take a look at that thank you for taking the time to watch this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button a lot of you guys have not yet subscribed and we're creating so many great videos i hope that you do thanks for watching take care bye